Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you my top 25 favorite actresses, so stick around. So Huck over at Huck's Pop Culture Cafe is continuing with his top 25 um, list, and today I'm going to show you the top 25 actresses plus a female ensemble at the end. So stick around to the end to see who I choose. Um, but I really do appreciate Huck for doing these um, type of videos so that we can show some of our collection and talk about a few of the um, people that we really enjoy watching on film. Um, so first up, in, no, in just very random order, I'm going to go with Jennifer Lawrence. Um, Jennifer Lawrence, of course, I really enjoyed The Hunger Games. I thought she did really well in this. She's had some other great performances such as Silver Lining Playbook and some other ones that I can't think of off the top of my head. But yeah, so Jennifer Lawrence. Next up is a great actress who has been in a lot of different things, and that's Kathy Bates. I really loved her performance in uh, Misery. She's had some other great performances, and I think she's a great um, actress. Next up, we have Jennifer Lopez. I thought her performance in Selena was excellent. She's had some other pretty good films. Nothing as spectacular as this, but she does have quite a bit of a filmography. Okay, next up we have Florence Pugh. I know a lot of people don't like her, but she has had some good films. I really enjoyed Midsommar and some of the other performances, um, you know, um, Black Widow um, and some other ones, so I chose her. Another great actress that um, is also a great um, songstress, I guess, and that would be Cher. She did a great um, performance in Moonstruck, which I believe won her the Academy Award. She was in Silkwood, um, in Mask, so I really do enjoy her as an actress. One of classic Hollywood's best actresses is Audrey Hepburn um, in Wait Until Dark. Um, I really do love Audrey Hepburn and all her films, so this is one of my favorites for her. Another great actress who has been in a lot of films and that is Sharon Stone. She was great in Casino, um, The Quick and the Dead, and some other great titles. Okay, um, another great actress I'm going to choose for um, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane is, of course, Betty Davis and her great performance in this film and all of her other films. She has done so much, um, All About Eve and all these other great ones. Of course, there's another great actress on here that I selected, and that is Joan Crawford. Um, for Mildred Pierce. I think Joan Crawford has had a great um, filmography. She's done so many great old Hollywood type films um, and so I chose her for that. Um, Emily Blunt is another great actress. Um, I really did enjoy her in A Quiet Place um, and then of course she was in the Mary Poppins um, film for Disney and another one that I can't think of off the top of my head with Tom Cruise. Um, Live, Die, Repeat, whatever the name of that title is. She was great in that. Okay, another great actress, I think, is Margot Robbie. She plays a perfect Harley Quinn. I think she was um, perfect as that character. Of course, she's in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and also um, Wolf of Wall Street. So I think Margot Robbie is a great performer. Next up is one of my favorite actresses is Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock, of course, I loved her in Speed. She was good in um, Speed 2, which wasn't a big hit. Um, also, While You Were Sleeping is one of my favorites. And she's done so many other films. I, I just really enjoy um, Sandra Bullock. Okay, next up we have Charlize Theron, who was perfect in this role in Monster. I thought she did great. She's had so many great films. Um, but this right here was a really standout performance. Okay, next up we have Toni Collette in Hereditary. Everything that I've seen Toni Collette in, she's been perfect in, um, but she really stood out in this performance, so that's the reason why I selected her. Next up, we have Sissy Spacek, which is one of my favorite actresses. She was perfect in Coal Miner's Daughter. She did all the, her own singing. Um, I am a big Loretta Lynn fan, so I, I really enjoyed this film. Um, Sissy Spacek has been in so many great films. Great actress, and that's the reason why I selected her. Um, next up, we have Molly Ringwald. Um, 
thought she was perfect in 16 Candles. All these John Hughes films that she's been in, she's been great in, and she's also had some very serious performances. I thought she did very well in, so I chose um, Molly Ringwald for that. Next up, we have Glenn Close. Um, Glenn Close is a great actress. I really enjoyed watching her performance in Fatal Attraction. She's had some really great TV performances and some other great dramatic roles. So Glenn Close is who I selected for this particular film. Okay, next up we have Holly Hunter um, in The Piano. This is one of her best performances. I really enjoyed her performance in this film. Also, she was in Broadcast News, um, Raised in Arizona. She's been in some really good TV shows that I've enjoyed. Um, most recently, she was she was in a um, um, HBO Max show. Um, I forget what it was called all of a sudden. But anyways, really enjoy um, Holly Hunter. Okay, next up we have Julia Roberts, who was perfect in Pretty Woman. Um, she's been in some other great films, such as Still Magnolias, um, Mystic Pizza, The Runaway Bride. I think she just does really good. She, um, Aaron Brockovich. So I think um, I think Julia Roberts is a great actress. Okay, next up we have The Shining, which stars Shelley Duvall and Jack Nicholson. Of course, everybody remembers Jack Nicholson's performance in this um, film, but for me, I think Shelley Duvall was excellent in this role as Wendy. Um, her performance was outstanding. You could just tell how terrified she was. Of course, she's had performances in other films. Um, Popeye is another one of my favorites, so I selected Shelley Duvall. Okay, next up, we have Scarlett Johansson from Marriage Story. Of course, everybody knows her um, from her Marvel movies as Black Widow, um, but to me, she has had so many great performances. Marriage Story is one of those. Um, the other one, I think Under, Under the Skin and some other ones I can't think of off the top of my head, but anyway, I think she's a great actress. Okay, next up we have Meryl Streep, who is a great actress. Um, I selected Death Becomes Her for her, my particular choice, but she's been in other great films such as The Deer Hunter, which she was excellent in, um, She Devil, all these other great performances, so I selected Meryl Streep. Speaking of Meryl Streep, I also selected Anne Hathaway for her performance in The Devil Wears Prada. I think Anne Hathaway is a great actress. I've enjoyed her in all the films that I've seen her in for the most part. Um, so um, Anne Hathaway is great. Next up is a great performer. She's been in a lot of different films that I enjoy and that is Juliette Lewis. Um, so I selected California for her. Um, but she has been in, even as a child actress, she has been in a lot of films. And then as an adult, I think her performances are great. One of the films that stands out for me is Cape Fear, um, the remake. I thought she was really great in that. But every one of the films that I've seen her in, she's excellent in. So Juliette Lewis. Okay, next up we have um, Kathleen Turner. Of course, in Serial Mom, which I thought she had a great performance in. I've enjoyed her in Peggy Sue Got Married, um, in Romance in the Stone movies. So I think she's a great actress. Now, for my ensemble pick, I picked a film that a lot of great actresses are in, a really fun movie, and that is Still Magnolias, which has got Sally Fields in it. It's got Dolly Parton, Julia Roberts, um, Olympia Dukakis. Who else? Um, some other ones that I can't name off the top of my head. But anyways, I, I really enjoyed Still Magnolias. So that is my ensemble pick. But anyways, it's really fun to select 25 movies plus an ensemble pick for Huck's Pop Culture Cafe's um, 25 favorite actresses. So please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the 25 actresses that I selected. Maybe give me some other film ideas of some of these that have been in other films that I should check out because I really do enjoy reading your comments. Um, if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.